Hi guys, this is your sister Karen in Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I want to come to you with a prophetic uh, vision that the Most High Yah gave me on the 29th of October 2020. I'm going to get straight into this vision. In this vision, brothers and sisters, it was like I saw about four or five people charging full speed after myself and some other people that was with me but when i look really close at these people from a distance it's like the holy spirit gave me bird bird bird's eye eye view and i could see these beings from afar off yes in the natural they looked completely human you couldn't tell that they weren't human. But because of the Holy Spirit inside of me, um, I realized and I recognized that these beings, brothers and sisters, these were not human. And I realized that these were fallen angels. And they began to charge full speed, brothers and sisters, uh, chasing uh, the people and myself, hunting us down. And as we began to run away from the scene, it was like I found myself at my parents' house, literally. But when I went there, my parents weren't there, my siblings, nobody was there. It's like the house was empty. And so it was just myself and these people that I was with. And I remember I went into the front room, or well, the front room, or the, the, the sit, we call it the sitting hall, and where you've got all the sofas and the TV and all of that. And everybody brothers and sisters in this vision or so the word i'm going to use is petrified that is the word i'm going to use you know people were just overwhelmed people were just overwhelmed with fear of these beings because they recognize like myself that this thing these things weren't human these were fallen angels brothers and sisters these you know hollywood called them aliens that that's what it was but as i said they looked human anyways i was in the front room my parents front room and i said to myself you know what i'm gonna go behind a sofa i'm gonna pull out a sofa you know and go behind and and, and hide from these things and so everybody was just shuffling about trying to find a place to hide from these beings because the fear in the room i'm telling you brothers and sisters the fear in the room from everybody, including myself, I'm not even going to put myself out of the equation. It was petrifying. It was terrifying because you know that what these things are, they are pure evil. You cannot reason with them. You cannot go and say, oh, please don't kill me. Give me a say. No, brothers and sisters, it's either they're going to eat you or they're going to possess you. One out of the two, brothers and sisters. This is a dilemma that we face. And so, brothers and sisters, in this vision, when the fear gripped me, I'm not going to, I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, when the fear gripped my heart and my soul, and I hid behind one of the sofas, straight away, the Holy Spirit, it was like, I could see the spirit of the most high in the natural. I know he's a, I know he's a spirit, but I, I felt this person, <clears throat> sorry. I just felt this beautiful, beautiful presence just came and stood beside me and crouched down when I was hiding behind the sofa. And he spoke so beautifully and he, so and he spoke so gently. And he said to me, Karen, why are you afraid? Just like that. He said, why? We said, why, why are you afraid? Why are you afraid? And I couldn't explain myself because then I started to catch up back on myself, you know? And, you know, just catch up to say, oh, why, yeah, why am I afraid? I'm a child of the most high. Yeah, you know, fear has no purpose in my life. That's when I started to reason with myself. When the Holy Spirit began to speak and said, Karen, why are you afraid? And he said to me, 
He said, use his name. <laughs> Just like that. He said, use his name. Brothers and sisters, I pushed away the sofa. All of a sudden, this, this magnitude of boldness just came all over me. I wasn't afraid. I wasn't crippled with fear. I wasn't petrified. I, nothing like that. Because in my heart, I said to myself, it's either or either. There's absolutely no way I'm going to let these fallen angels, this alien uh, being, cripple me with fear. And so people are saying, oh, Karen, what are you doing? Go back behind the sofa. No, don't do it. What are you doing? Because now these fallen angel was in the house. This thing was in the house. And, you know, from my parents' house, I can, I can even see it now. They were coming up from the kitchen because we've got a long passageway. So for you to come into the, uh, the sitting hall, you've got to come through a passageway, pass all the bedroom and all of that bathroom and come such a long passageway. And brothers and sisters, like I said, people were saying to me, oh, Karen, what are you doing? Don't go there. Don't. They were saying, go back, go back behind the sofa, go and hide. And I said, no. I said, I'm not hiding. I am not hiding. I'm going to take these things on using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I said that. And they were like, it's, it was like, they were saying to me, oh, don't use that name. That name won't work. You know, these people were saying, oh, don't use Jesus' name. That name is not going to work. The, the, the fallen angels are going to kill you. Go back. And I said, no. I said, I made up my mind. I said, I'm not going to let fear cripple me. I'm going to confront this thing using my Savior's name. Brothers and sisters, when I open the door, when I open the door, and I looked down the passageway, about five of them were coming my way. They weren't human beings no more. They were full-fledged fallen angel entity. There's a name, I can't, uh, Grustecu, something like that. I'm so sorry if I pronounced that name wrong, brothers and sisters. But there were, ah, uh, um, okay. Have you seen, have you seen them? Because when I used to watch movies, it was way, way when I used to watch movies. And have you seen the movie with Mel Gibson? I think Mel Gibson, yeah, yeah Mel Gibson was in it. Yes, he was. I'm sure he was. Anyway, it's called Signs. And part of the movie it showed you a figure, it's a fallen angel. They call them aliens, but really it's a fallen angel. And they show you this horrible, horrible, slender, I don't know, you know, image that people are so scared of. Well, this is what it looked like. These Hollywood movies, brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, some of them predict things right in plain sight. But this thing, I, wouldn't, I noticed his feet. And his feet was like hoof. So it had, ah, I need to find a picture. I'm going to have to find a picture and put it up there for me to describe. Because I, I don't want to take ages describing what I see. But I think it's called Grosticu or Grosticu, something like that. But I notice it's feet, brothers and sisters. So imagine, I know you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> but imagine stilettos. Or imagine a woman spike heel, stilettos, but without the heel. Do you, you see what I'm, you, you know where I'm coming from. So imagine a woman's stilettos or a spike heel, take the heel off and just, and just the, 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 the mouth of the boot. That's what these things feet was like. It were like spike heel, but there were, there were no heel. This is what I saw. These were the five humans that was chasing us. And when they got in the house, they present themselves as, as in their natural habitat. This thing was, this is the reason why fear gripped all of us. Because when you see them in their natural habitat, brothers and sisters, you have got to have the Holy Spirit. The Bible, Jesus tells you, he said, men hearts will fail them. For looking at those things coming upon the earth. 
the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth has warned the world. He has told his children. So when I saw these things coming, brothers and sisters, they weren't walking really fast. They were walking up, sliding. Oh, they were horrible, horrible things, horrible things. And, um, and so brothers and sisters, they saw me and I saw them. And the people in the front room were saying, carry on, get back inside. They're going to kill you. And I'm saying, no, I'm not. I'm using the name. I'm going to use the name. The Holy Spirit told me, don't be afraid. Use his name. So brothers and sisters, this was me and the fallen angels right up close to me. And I tell her these things, they weren't pretty. Uh, brothers and sisters, this vision, I'm telling you, the Lord didn't hide anything from me. These are all graphic my visions are. But I'm used to them now. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm used to my visions because the Lord, when he's showing me things, he doesn't hold back. And so these things were coming towards me. And brothers and sisters, I were ready. I were ready. And I began. I began. And I began to plead. And I began to say, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I rebuke you, brothers and sisters. You see, when I started to blast out the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, these things started to take a step back. They couldn't handle the name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. They could not handle the name Jesus Christ of Nazareth because the name, when it was talking, it was like, in a spiritual sense, fire was coming out of my mouth. And this thing, this fallen angel could not stand in the present. And it's only the name I'm using. It is only the name, brothers and sisters. This one, there is power. There is power in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You've just got to know how to use it. And I began to rebuke, and I began to rebuke, and these things were stopping. And the people in the front room recognized and realized what was going on. And they began to stand, to stand up from where they were hiding. And they were in awe. They were like, the name Jesus Christ of Nazareth worked. And they were like, what? They were just in sheer awe. They were in sheer awe that... The name carries so much power because they disbelieved that the name would have worked. And I just use that name. Oh, brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, I was on full blast. I was on, you know, I was on full charge. You know, when you're confident, I was overconfident. <laughs> I was like overconfident, just using the name Jesus Christ of Nazareth rebuking these things and then hallelujah i got the victory thank you lord the vision ended and i came out the vision you know when i came out the vision brothers and sisters i the only part of the vision that i was disappointed with was a fear and the reason why i became fearful and this is where this vision is an encouragement for me but it's also an encouragement for you as well, brothers and sisters, because the, one of the reasons why I was so fearful and so petrified because everybody around me had fear. Every single one, not one person in the room was without fear. Every single body. And so that palpitate off them and came onto me. And when I was, like I said, when I was hiding, the Holy Spirit, it came. It literally came and it crouched down. And in a very beautiful voice, he said, and you know the vision, why are you fearful? He said, use his name. He said, go, use his name. And I use the name Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Brothers and sisters, the time is coming when you're going to find yourself in a position where you have to choose. Do not let peer pressure, do not let peer pressure get the best of you. Know who you are in Christ. That is so important. To know who you are in Christ is do or die for the Lord in this final hour. There's coming a time when you just got to choose. You're either going to be choose to be eaten or be possessed by these fallen ones. Or you stand up on the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth 
regardless of what the world is saying, regardless of what people are saying, brothers and sisters, I am not here to, uh, I'm not here to, what's the word I'm using? To distinguish different names because we know that the Lord's got different, you know, he's, people call him all sorts, you know, but for me, I know that name works. And the Lord began to speak to my heart when I came out the vision, brothers and sisters. And he said to me so clearly, and I'm going to have to release this word. He said, the, the, the stone that the builders rejected becomes the chief cornerstone. Let me say that again. It's in the scripture. I forgot the verse. But the Bible says, the stone that the builders rejected becomes the chief cornerstone. And I said, Lord, what do you mean by that? What does that have to do with the vision? He said to me, Lord, begin to speak to my heart. And he said to me, daughter, he said in the time of the end, he said in the time of the end, all these people, all my children, don't know why I call them my children, but he does. He said, all my children that is refusing to use my name, that I've set apart, that I've sanctified, that I've given power to, you can cast demon out in my name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He said, that same name that they're rejecting now, he said, in the time of the end, when the destruction is facing them, they will call upon me. This is the name that they will use. And brothers and sisters, it is so true because I've said it to you before and I've done the video. And I said in the time of the end, Jesus Christ of Nazareth will be the one world order name they're going to use to kill the Christians. Because... They know that there's power in the name and that's the name that you've got to denounce. Because by the time, the whole, well, everybody in the world now speaks English. And so when the time comes for you to denounce your faith, that's the name they're going to bring. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. And the Lord began to speak to me and he said, in the time of the end, he said, that's the name they're going to call upon. He said, that is the name that have saved them. And when I look into the situation, you know, everybody who, you know, who is a Christian or born again, some of you, you're not a Christian. Okay, fair enough. That's what you say. But for those of you whom the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth have saved and drawn out of sin, brought you into his love, into his rest, into his restoration and peace, sanctified you, you were saved. You were saved under and using the name Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's the name you were saved under. And then all of a sudden, oh, Jesus Christ of Nazareth is a lie. That's not his name. I ain't using that name. I don't, that name is demonic. It's from this, it's from that. It's a trick. If you can get past the white Jesus, because this is the problem with, especially amongst the black community. You know, I'm not using the name Jesus Christ of Nazareth because Jesus Christ of Nazareth is a white man who caught no. If you can, you know the image, you know who Christ is. When I call Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I am not talking about Caesar Borgia. I am talking about a white blonde hair, blue eye image in the Catholic Church. And that is not Christ. Jesus Christ is not European. He is, well, they said Middle East, but the middle, whole Middle East is Africa anyways, but I'm not getting into that. But Christ, the Messiah, the biblical Messiah, he is coming from a place of people of color. He is not European. So don't be twisted and, 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 you know, get into this. Oh, I'm not using Jesus. He's what? No, I use Jesus Christ of Nazareth confidently because I know who, who I'm calling on. And if you are going to say, well, you know, 
I will read the Bible. I believe certain things of the Bible, but not everything. Well, you're just as deceived as the devil. Because you're either going to take the whole Bible for what it is, the whole bread, not chop and change, not cherry pick some scripture and believe only some scripture and then debunk the rest. It ain't going to work. You're going to go to hell for that. Because in the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. The whole Bible is the word of God. That is what the Lord is going to use to judge our earth. So you may say, oh, well, you know, well, it's the white man that put Jesus, the name Jesus Christ in the Bible. Well, where are you getting your literatures from? Where are you getting your literatures from? Who, who, wrote, who wrote your literature? You cannot cherry pick. When it comes to the word of God, you've got to be very careful. The Lord has given us the word. I use the King James Version Bible because that's the closest. I mean, I've got two. I've got the original. Oh, I can't read it because of the V and the thy and the though and there's no J and all of that. It's, it's, it's the closest to the scrolls. And then I've, you've got the King James Version second edition. Fantastic. That's what I use. And um, and so this whole thing about the name Jesus Christ and cursing the name, don't do it. I, I encourage people, you know, you can stick to your Hebrew names. He's got so many Hebrew names. I have no idea which is the right one. I don't know if it's Yeshua, Yehoshua, Yehoshua Shai. He's got all sorts. And I'm not going to cherry pick which is the correct name. You use what you want. But for me, I am from the Western world. I speak English at the moment. Because the Lord is going to, uh, in Zephaniah, Zephaniah chapter 3, Zephaniah, Zechariah chapter 3, verse 10, where the Lord is going to restore our language. So I'm not worried about that. Not, man's not going to do it. It's the Most High Yah who is going to do that. And so, you know, this whole notion of, you know, I'm not using Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'm not using his name. It's demonic. The Lord has warned. This is the name that's going to be there in the time of the end. And when push comes to shove, when you are back to the corner, that's the name some of you will call it. That is the name. I'll give you a quick one. What time is it? I'll give you a quick testimony. Very, very quick testimony. Last night, um, the 30th of October, 2020, my five-year-old wasn't feeling well. Brothers and sisters, this was about 12 o'clock, 12.30. He said, mommy, my tummy's hurting. Okay, so, you know, kiddies come, the tummy hurts. You can give them a little something. But when I looked, um, I should have taken a picture, actually. Brothers and sisters, listen to this. When I looked at my five-year-old abdominal, it was extended. I said, Lord, what is this? My child looked like a three-month-old, three-month pregnant woman. It's, it was, oh, I've never seen anything like that. His tummy was just extending. And I said, Lord, what is this? And he was saying, Mommy, Mommy, my tummy. He said, Mommy, please, my tummy. And he was crying. I know. My five-year-old is a, is a tough lad, you know. He's a tough little cookie, and he don't cry for much. But I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, <clears throat> he was crying, he was crying. And I was saying, get on the toilet. Do you want to poo? Do you want to pass wind? And I was saying, no, mommy, I can't, I can't. And he was crying. And his tummy was just swollen. It was just swollen, brothers and sisters. When you felt it, it felt tough. And it, sh it was swollen and it was shine. It was a shine, just like a here you know that's the level and um i said lord what is this and i i grabbed him up and i began to pray i began to pray i began to pray i began to rebuke using the name jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah <laughs> and i began to blast the enemy i began to blast infirmity using the name jesus christ of, and brothers and sisters <clears throat> As I put my hands around his tummy and I began to pray, I could feel the swollenness of his tummy coming down, coming down. And the Lord said, within the hour, I will heal him. 
and I prayed for him. I put him to bed. He got up about one time and <clears throat> was calling me, Mommy, Mommy, my tummy hurts. And I went in his room and I looked on his tummy. It was still swollen, but it wasn't that bad. And the Lord said to me, Relax, my daughter. I will heal him. And I put him back to bed, covered him up, gave him a kiss, and I went to my bed. And the enemy wanted me to worry, like say, oh, he's not going to be healed. You know, you're going to wake up in the morning. You'll have to bring him to the hospital. And the Lord was saying, counteract that in the name of Jesus. That's Satan for you. And the Lord comforted me and said, within the hour, within the hour, he will be okay. This morning, glory to, glory to your name, Lord. This morning, sorry. This morning. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> I can't get it. I'm so hot. I'm going to fan. This morning, um, he got up. Oh, hold on one second, my little sister. Oh my God. Oh, that was a liar. I'm trying to get this thing. Just, I'm sorry, brothers and sisters. This might shake a little bit. I'm trying to get something here. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Ah, I'm so sorry about that, brothers and sisters. Let me fix this back properly. I'm sorry about that. That was just unprofessional of me. I, I do apologize. It just gets so, so warm. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, so this morning he got up. And when he got up, he came straight in my room. When he came in my room, he went, Mommy, Mommy, I'm better. Look at my tummy. Oh, my God. His tummy so flat. Like, you know, he's only five years old anyways. Um, But he, he, his tummy said, so look at my tummy, Mommy. The swelling is gone. My tummy is not hurting. I'm okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm all right. And I went, who healed you? He went, Jesus and God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to your name. He went, Jesus and God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. So the name works. You just got to know how to use it and trust it. Trust in the name. When you use his name, you cannot doubt. And that's one thing. You know that the name Jesus Christ of Nazareth is authentic and it is pure and it is true. Because every time you use the name, the enemy comes, he rushes in like a flood. And he'll tell you, oh, it's not going to work. That's not the real name. He's trying to bring doubt, but <laughs> don't doubt. Um, the Lord is good. He healed my son. So in the, mid, in the midnight hour, when you cannot get to the doctors and all these places, you're going to need his name. Hallelujah. You're going to need his name. So be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with Yah just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to the Most High Yah who lives above the heavens. Yah eternally bless you. I love you all and I will see you soon. Someday in glory. In Jesus Christ's precious holy name. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.